Welcome. In this video, let's go one level up. In our last video, we looked at linear equations. Let's apply that knowledge to an MA exam question. Let's check out the question and see what we need to do. Our first step is to read the requirement here. They want us to calculate a variable overhead cost per unit, rounded to the cent using the high-low method. So right away, I see where this is going. The high-low method is a tool. We're going to express our linear equation on the xy graph. As you remember, the x-axis is our units. The y-axis is our total cost, so units with a hash sign, cost with a dollar sign. And we will be given some data in this scenario, I'm sure of it. And what we're going to do is take the high activity level, the low activity level, and assume that there is a perfect correlation between those two points, ignoring the other data. So that's what we need to do. Let's go back into the question now and see how we'll set up our graph. We've got total overhead costs and some total output. So the total cost, that is the y-axis, and the output is the x. And I want the high and the low activity. So I'm going to eliminate these. Even though we have this outlier here that's the highest cost in the whole table, I'm going to go with the high and low units. We can now plot those on our graphs. We've got a low of 1,000, a high of 4,000, and we have some corresponding total costs. At 1,000 units, we get 4,000 in total costs. I'll set that here. And then at 4,000 units, we get 9,450 total cost. And I'll set that here approximately. Without any other information, we would assume that the line looks like this, the fixed cost somewhere down here. However, We've got to read the story. A step up of $500 occurs at an output level of 3,500 units. So what's happening there? We can, we can graph that. So 3,500 would be there. And this is not to perfect scale, but something like this is happening. We have one total cost to this point, and at 3,500, we've got a step, so the fixed cost goes up. Not to scale, but just to give you that idea. So this is what we have to deal with, the step. The way we'll solve this problem, let's imagine that the step wasn't there. And if it wasn't there, this would be down to that, wouldn't it? The total cost above 3,500 units has the plus $500. If I remove that $500 from the high data point, we now have one straight line with which we can calculate the variable cost or the gradient. So let's get busy doing that. The variable cost will be the change in the total cost divided by the change in the units. And we have a high total cost of 9,450, but we'll take the 500 out of that. Now we have 8,950. So we'll use that for the cost at the high activity level. 
At the low, we'll keep that 4,000 as it is. So the change in total cost, ignoring the stepped cost, will be 8,950 minus 4,000 over the change in the units, which is 3,000. So the numerator will be 4,950 divided by 3,000 units, and that gives me a variable cost of $1.65. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you can use your knowledge of linear equations when solving an ACCA MA exam question.